Hi there. Give me a few minutes of your time as I offer you a glimpse of a better future. For all history, we have had systems built on ownership, slavery and extraction. We sought to extract enough first to survive, then to thrive and then to dominate. And it served the purpose for a while. We have mostly come to view slavery as abhorrent and to want every child to have a good diet, clean water and a beneficial education. And we have started to understand that all humans have certain intrinsic and inalienable rights. We have finally even started to view animals in a similar way and to give the natural ecosystem the respect it deserves in places. Now, just as with the technology path that lays before us, this new way of viewing the world is just at the very beginning. We have lay before us a new era of enlightenment, the era of a creation rather than extraction, the chance to be creative rather than destructive, to be a creator, not a dictator, and to do all this in harmony with the natural world with which we share this spinning globe. A bastion of life standing against the lifeless void that occupies our stellar neighbourhood and it seems the majority of this universe. We would be foolish indeed to destroy such a precious cargo with such a wealth of variation in genetic material just as the era in which we can truly reap the rewards is set to come true. Imagine a time when you can wake up refreshed from sleeping in a safe bed in a secure, dry, warm dwelling to a cupboard and fridge full of nutritious food with running water that is safe to drink and enough regular energy to plan your day full of whatever you want to do. Well, many of you do already. Indeed, we are now including an internet connection as such a basic human right. Now, imagine that those were all radically cheaper than they are today, or even free to certain levels, or maybe with a universal basic income or similar idea that effectively covers the costs. You might think this is some kind of utopian rubbish, and that is fine, but why not show me where the problems lie and why it will not work? I think we can see vast improvements in quality of product and service in the cost and most importantly in the sustainability and environmental impacts and I believe we can see them within a decade if we actually get serious and vote for the right people. Now I'm not asking you to vote for me but look to those in your region who represent such values. Vote for something you believe in rather than purely against something you fear or dislike. It is the time to vote for the future, not against the past. We need to look to the future, not shout at the past. And we need every single human to have shelter, food and water with access to high quality and affordable energy, transport and information systems. We can be the generation to end poverty to end inequality and to end environmental destruction and we can do it by 2035, even 2030 if we really get our act together. In many of my previous videos and over the ones still to come, I will take these subjects one by one and show how we are creating a superior version which will cost significantly less, maybe even just 10% of what we pay now, and how they do not have to destroy the ecosystem on which we survive to do so. See you there and thanks for dropping by.